Okay, so everyone wants to monetize their audience as a graphic designer on Twitter. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it too and how I'm going to reach 10,000 followers on Twitter in 2023. Number one, you need to get started and why don't many people get started? It's a fear of being judged by others or they're overthinking or overcomplicating the process or they're an imposter, they don't feel like they're good enough. And what I would say to that is, you've provided value many times in your life before, so you can do it daily on Twitter, and I promise you that. And how can you do this? Well, you can start sharing a personal story and providing value on the timeline from lessons that you've learnt. Start there, start basic, try not overcomplicating things. I'm not saying you have to tweet five times a day, how about just tweet twice a day and go with that. Tip number two links in with the first point. You don't need to be an absolute expert in your field. Look at me for example. I've got a lot of followers coming in at the moment who are beginner graphic designers that are starting out and it's very very easy for me to start going oh, I need clients, I need clients, what's going on? Why am I getting so many beginner graphic designers following me? Well, what, why I'm getting loads of beginner graphic designers following me is because I'm providing value within that niche. So let's say you've been designing for three to six months and this is go, all goes back to fear of not being good enough. You've been designing for three to six months and you're starting to go, well, I don't know, I don't want to get on to, involved in Twitter, I'm a little bit scared to start. Well, there are graphic designers out there that have started designing now. They have no experience whatsoever, and your six months of experience, you can allow them to skip over that process. It's like, have you ever seen a viral thread that goes viral, it, it says something along, along the lines of, I studied three years in university and got myself $50,000 in debt, so you don't have to. I spent X amount of hours in the gym, so you don't have to provide value for those who are much lesser off than what you are and you'll go far on Twitter. Number three, you need to fix your profile. I'd imagine a lot of you out there don't have a real photo of yourself as a profile picture and what does that do? That brings you trust. People click on your profile and go, ah, that's a real person. Let's start working with them. Optimise your bio. Tell people who you are, what you do and who you provide for and then give a call to action and try and get people away from Twitter. And that's how we optimise our profile for growth. Next tip is to find a network. I have my own network, 75 individuals, all graphic designers. Every single one of them is starting to get clients. We talk about how to make money online. We talk about how to find more clients as a graphic designer. We give feedback to each other on our work. I give feedback out and I receive feedback because that's what you need to grow as a graphic designer. If you want to grow on Twitter, you need a network. You need people that are going to be on your tweets constantly. You know that when your tweet, X, X amount of people from your network are going to like, like your tweet. And that's exactly what you need. Because with your network becomes growth. And I have a network of 75 individuals. And we're going to start getting that into Discord very soon. So what happens when we bring it into Discord? Well, we can have unlimited amount of people. At the moment, it's only 75. We will expand very soon because the demand is getting high. People really want to join our graphic design network. And I took that upon myself to, to make it happen because I know this community needs it. And maybe if you can't find a network, why don't you start your own? Why don't you start your own and, and start tweeting about a network? Do a giveaway. Say on your Twitter, we're going to start a network. If you want to join, retweet and follow. And I guarantee people will retweet and follow and, and get them to comment, maybe add. And then you can add them to your network from there. You've got to build it up. You've got to market yourself. Next tip, and this is huge. If you want to go on Twitter, you need an engagement list. And what do I mean by an engagement list? You want to head into Twitter, you want to go into lists, you want to find big accounts that you associate yourself with. So pick three niches. So graphic design, marketing and ghostwriting, let's say, or the fitness industry, that's one that I like to be involved in. What you want to do is you want to find accounts that you find like-minded and you want to go through these accounts and start adding them to a Twitter list. Make sure that the Twitter list is private because we don't want them to see that you've added them to a list. It looks pretty embarrassing on your part, so make sure it's private. And what you want to do is you'll have, especially on the iOS devices, you'll have home and then you'll have your private list, aka let's call it big accounts. And what you want to do is you want to go on big accounts and you want to scroll through and you want to start replying to all the tweets with some value. Once you provide value, people are going to start trusting you more and you'll see in the replies what will start to happen is you'll start picking up random followers, you'll start gaining their audience. But a pro tip is to only do this with accounts that you want their audience. Look at an account and go, I really want to have their audience. How do I get it? Well, I'm just under the tweets constantly. And a little tip for you, I like to provide uh, value, but not only value, I like to ask a question. Because if you ask a question under somebody's tweet, you're more inclined to get a response. 
all these responses saying nice tweets, nice tweets, doesn't work, it never has worked. So you need to get under the replies and start asking questions or at least add a more value to the tweets provided and maybe share a personal experience as we spoke about earlier on. And my last tip is that you need to be legit, you need to be have your own personality. A lot of people on Twitter are just are just hiding behind the profile and don't really have their own personality. If you can have your own personality through brand identity, which I know a lot of you watching this will know about, if you don't hire a brand identity designer, get them to design your Twitter profile and optimise it for you, then you can start having your own personality. You know, we're building a personal brand here. We're not trying to build some company. Uh, we're not trying to build a side hustle that might make us a few quid. We're trying to build ourselves as the brand. So we're killing two birds with one stone. And that's how I'll build 10,000 followers on Twitter by the end of 2023. And you can as well if you apply these methods.